The Anna Pierna Showcase has just passed and I wanted to share my favorite games from the event and some of the games you should be looking out for. These are in no particular order, so I'm going to start with... Number 1, The Artful Escape. I don't know much about this, but I like the style. This colorful game sees you playing as Francis Vendetti. In this side-scrolling adventure, you see a vibrant landscape with weird and crazy looking monsters and a sweet guitar riff playing in the background. I assume that this is all in his head as he tries to show the world who he truly is by adopting, in his own words, an elaborate stage persona. This looks really good and it comes out on September 9th this year on Steam and Xbox. Number 2, Neon White. From the creative mind behind Donut County comes a complete 180 in terms of style and gameplay. Dubbed a single player speedrunning FPS, kinda like Ghost Runner but with a twist. In this game you sacrifice your guns in favor of better parkour abilities. You play as a dead assassin known as White who has been plucked from hell and has 10 days to rid heaven of the demons invading it. White is a neon, it's not fully known what this means yet other than that this is what the others including yourself are called. Now I assume you'll be able to play as the other characters as well and learn more about the world as you go, and the goal here as far as story is that whoever is the fastest demon slayer will earn a spot in heaven, but it's not as simple as shooting and slashing away like you normally would in this kind of element. Oh no, that's where the soul cards come into play. These magical items can be used to attack or discard it for a movement buff depending on the card. As seen in the video, the pistol allows for you to jump higher and the rifle allows for a quick dash. These cards are placed throughout a level and cannot be taken with you to the next. For each level completed, you'll gain insight, which is how you level up, but also unlocks new things to do in the level you just completed. In the same vein as Bloodborne, but not as creepy. Despite not having multiplayer, this game will have leaderboards where you can compete with other players for the best time. It's not known if you get anything or if it's just for bragging rights, but I wouldn't be too sure about that. This game looks interesting enough and looks more like a Suda51 title than anything else. It comes out this winter for Nintendo Switch and PC. Number 3, Storyteller. This game sees you as a lone author of a story. You're given a title, settings, and characters to be able to do just about anything with, just as long as whatever you create follows the title. So you don't have 100% control, but just enough to make the story your own. It starts out easy with two squares as your backdrop, a title above that, and two characters and three objects. But soon the stories get longer and more complicated. Storyteller seems like a really fun puzzle game that I think kids and adults alike would have a lot of fun with. With no planned release date, it's coming soon to Nintendo Switch and PC, with the playable demo right now on Steam, so you should check it out, it's really fun. Number 4, Stray. First seen, I believe, at the PlayStation Showcase, and the game I'm most hyped for out of this set. In Stray, you play as, well, a cat, inside a mysterious and seemingly abandoned city. Injured and alone, you are separated from your family and you'll need to survive in this unsettling location. It's dark, weird creatures are seen, and no human life is detected. This would be difficult for anyone to survive in, let alone a cat. But this is where your biggest weaknesses become your biggest strengths, using them to solve puzzles and maybe find a reason for this lonely place. But if you continue your journey, you'll find that you are not alone. In fact, you have a new friend, a drone named B12. The drone helps you with tasks a cat simply can't do, and you find that there are other people in the world as well that B12 can interact with. Most of these interactions are friendly. I mean, not even a robot can hate a cat, right? But these people are not the only ones who call this place home. You need to avoid dangerous rat-like blobs that swarm the area and destroy all in their path. Quick thinking and fast movement are the pillars of what will keep you alive long enough to make it home to your family, but that isn't all that you have to work with. What's seen is a ray of light that kills any blob that touches it. This light is affixed to you, so at least you have some way to defend yourself. I can't wait for this game to launch as it comes out on PS4, PS5, and PC in early 2022. Did I miss anything? I know I did. Just hit me in the comments and be sure to like the video and share with your friends. You can follow me on Twitter at TroutPanda and on Instagram at TroutPanda. Again, thank you for watching and stay frosty. Till next time.